cold snap that we have has been rough, in fact, deadly for turtles in the freezing water along our coast, as many of the cold stunned turtles float and wash up to the surface. Ho Jung Ru is live in Moorhead City with details on how the turtles are saved and treated so they can return to their natural habitat. Ho Jung. Dave and Courtney, 202 cold snap turtles have came here to NC State University Center for Marine Sciences and Technology so far. While the experts say that the recent cold snap was the reason for this big number, and although their survival rate has been low, the rescue mission for these endangered species continues. On Tuesday, three more cold stunned turtles arrived at NC State University Center for Marine Sciences and Technology for emergency treatment in Moorhead City. They should be getting out of the sounds and out to warmer waters of the Gulf Stream or for further south. And if they don't do that and we get cold fronts coming through that uh, lower the temperature too quickly, then they, they cold stun. For these turtles, time is key. The longer they've been in the cold situation, they, they, they get immunosuppressed, they get beat up in the surf, they get infections, uh, they sometimes get joint infections, they sometimes get pneumonia. This commonly happens from November to February, and this year, slightly more the average amount of turtles were cold stunned. Turtles are slowly warmed up before they get shipped off to the Pine Knoll Shores Aquarium for rehabilitation. The turtle's recovery starts in shallow water. During their treatment, turtle specialist Michelle Lamping saw a familiar face. Once we found out he had a pit tag from last year, so we knew who he was, um, and he survived on his own in the wild. Then he cold stunned in the exact same place where we found him last year, and luckily he was one of the ones that lived because a lot of so many of them did not live through the cold snap. Those who recover at the aquarium can stay from a week to a year for rehabilitation, depending on their state, until they get released into the ocean. Those who did not make it are preserved for study and research purposes. And according to Lamping, the same turtle that was treated was released back into the ocean today. And they place a microchip into these turtles so that they can keep track. And their goal is to never see them again and help them thrive out in the wild. Reporting live from Moorhead City, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. Glad they're able to help them out. All right, thanks, Ho Jung. And according to Professor Harms, the number of turtles lost to the cold snap is becoming more concerning due to the endangerment of the turtles from climate change and pollution.